got him. Foul tip. Oh, he says no. Kaiser said it tipped his bat, and Rick Peters said, oh no. You can hear him all the way up here. I think what Kaiser's saying now was well, a strike anyway. Well, let's see if we can uh, tell by our replay whether or not he did. It was not a strike. No. And we cannot tell whether or not he tipped it, although the catcher went up with the ball. Uh, looked like he indicated somebody was thrown out of the ball game. Uh, and then uh, third base umpire got into it with some of the players in the dugout. And now Sparky Anderson's going out to uh, giving uh, his two cents worth. No, 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 Sparky. That's not the way I want. He's going to have the last say. I think Gene Michael's going to take his team off the field. He's telling them, let's get off the field. I've never seen this happen before. Gene Michael says, we don't have to stand around out there. I've never seen this happen before manager of the other team upset because of the argument and uh, he's taking his team off the field now Nettles is not going to leave he says I'm listening to all of this and I want to know what's all about I think what we need to do is take a mic down there put oh, it right in the middle of no, all this no although Sparky does not use uh, foul language but he is getting his two cents in that's a uh, Gesture and he's out of the ball. He's game. out of the game. <laughs> Who threw him out? Haller. I think Haller did. Yeah. Gibby will be batting for the first time. Well, Gibson just has to tell himself that he has a fastball pitcher. He has to get himself started. He has to go for the seats. Look for a fastball in. Generally, that's where they try to pitch him in tight so he has to tell himself to get himself ready for that fastball one ball no strikes Tigers down by two here in the ninth and they have them on at first and second ball two no strike. Home run! Home run for Gibson in the upper deck in the bleachers. He hit it a mile into the wind in deep right center field. Gibson has hit a three-run homer in the bottom of the ninth. Boy, he got it all, George. He got it all. I never oh. thought anybody could hit one that far. He hit it all in the upper deck of the bleachers in right center field in the face of a strong wind. And you see a happy Tiger crew. What a finish. Woo. And I watched it. Look at this. He gets the pitch and he got it all. Two balls and no strikes. And let's see his reaction. Kurt Gibson has just hit one of the longest home runs he'll ever hit. In the teeth of a strong win. George, uh, where, you, where they try to pitch you and... Uh, and then all of a sudden, he's going to be a, a, a dramatic hitter, a, a dynamite hitter, once he learns these things. Well, he really turned this crowd on here today. They have refused to leave the ballpark, most of them still standing. They did not leave until Gibson came out. So a three-run homer in the ninth inning wins it for the Tigers, 5-4, to four, makes Lopez the winner, and Ron Davis the loser here today.